Hi, this is Sindhil Kumaran, working as Lava Software Engineer in Lenaro. So in today's video tutorial, we are going to see how to install Lava, which is nothing but Lenaro's automated validation architecture in each of your computers in order to work locally and run jobs and write tests and test them in your local instance with a simple KVM device. So this should be simple enough to get started in order to move on to add more devices by referring to the documentation. So let's get on to things. Validation.linear.org, which you see here on the browser, is the official Lava instance which has been supported by Linaro. So each and every Lava instance has a documentation where you can find help in order to install Lava or do different things with Lava. So let me point you to where to look for the installation help. So you click on the help link and then search for Debian. Lava is officially supported in Debian based distribution. There isn't known support for other distributions as of now, apart from Ubuntu, which is again a Debian based distribution. When we search inside the documentation for Debian, we have the Debian based distributions. Link. So if you go inside that, it shows us the steps involved in order to install Lava in a Debian based distribution. So the current release of Debian in which Lava is packaged and it's been completely supported and it's been recommended by the Lava team in Linaro to install Lava is Debian Jesse. So Debian Jesse is a testing release of Debian which is not released yet as of 23rd February 2015 but this will be the next production release of Debian which is expected to release shortly. So we'll move on to install the full Lava set. So the full Lava set consists of different packages like the Lava Dev, Lava PU Client, Lava D1, PDU D, and Lava Set, and Lava Dispatcher. Let's not confuse with all those things, but it is pretty simple to install Lava. The assumption before that is, I assume that all of you have a working Debian Jesse based installation in your machines. So I'm talking about something like this. So when you type this command lsb release hyphen a, you should see Debian GNU slash Linux 8. Jesse. So Jesse is a testing release of Debian, Debian as I mentioned. So if you have this, then this tutorial should work. Okay, coming back to things. So in order to install Lava. <coughs> You need to first install PostgreSQL and it's always recommended to install PostgreSQL first and then move on to installing Lava. PostgreSQL is a database backend which has been used by Lava in order to store data which is generated within Lava. So let's get started with installing PostgreSQL. It is simple. As we all know, we I'm using apt-get you know, install PostgreSQL in Debian Jesse. Okay, I say yes. PostgreSQL starts installing. Once this installation is over, we'll move on to installing Lava, the complete set of Lava, as mentioned before, which in installs everything which is required in order to run lava in your local machines okay so we now have postgresql installed without any problems and we want to install lava as given in the documentation so this is how we install lava the complete set of lava so i'm just installing that so as you can see it installs these packages lava is a meta package which pulls all the other packages required in order to run lava so we have 
have the dev, we have dispatcher, we have server, we have server docs, we have lava tool, we have PDU clients and PDU demons. But PDU clients and PDU demons will not be required in most of the installations which you do unless until you are going to like add more number of devices and then uh, have your I mean expand your uh, lava instance really big I would like to say this installation walks us through a single instance of lava so you can know about what is single instance and a distributed lava instance within lava from the documentation so a single instance is nothing but to give a, a short intro about that a single instance is a self contained instant instance which have everything within the same mission I mean all the packages and tools required to learn lava within the same machine so <clears throat> the first question lava asks is so is this a standalone master instance of lava and yes this is a standalone master instance and then what is the instance name I just give the instance name as default in configuring lava server in order to use PostgreSQL so when we installed PostgreSQL we didn't tweak anything in order to change the default port and we know PostgreSQL's default port is 5432 so we are going to use the same port in order to install lava so we are pointing for 5432 as a PostgreSQL port for lava server and again it asks for a lava instance name so we like give the default name so now lava starts installing so it pulls different packages from the Debian repository and installs lava for us and it also automatically configures the database connections with the PostgreSQL with some default usernames and a generated password so now the migrations happen all the initial database schema is being migrated okay it is trying to start httpd okay so the lava installation is done so we have lava already installed if you want to I mean the next step as given in the documentation is so we need to configure Apache in order to like host this lava instance within our local host so what we do is we disable the default site and enable the lava server.conf in order to be used within Apache for running the lava instance so a2 this site triple zero hyphen default will disable the default Apache site within Debian. So it says already disabled. And um, this is, I mean, I've, I've been trying to install Lava, I mean, n number of times in order to produce this video. Tool. So some things uh, may show um, like this. But when you install, it will uh, tell you like the Apache default site has been disabled. And then we move on to enable lava server.conf okay so it says site lava server already enabled so I mean this is the commands you need to type in order to disable the default Apache site and then enable lava server and the next thing is we need to restart Apache in order to get lava run so Apache is restarted now let's check whether lava installed properly on your browser so I say localhost okay there it takes us to the lava instance from our localhost which we just installed and once this is working let's see what are the next steps so the next step is to add a super user for this lava instance if you see in the same documentation page towards end we have super user so this is the command 
sudo lava server manage create super user hyphen hyphen username and email should be provided in order to create a super user for the lava instance we just installed okay let me do that so i put my username as stylesen and my email as sendel.mol at linarer.org so this is how we create a super user so this super user will be responsible for maintaining the lava instance we just installed and it asks for a password so i put a password and it asks the password again for confirmation and it says super user created successfully so i have a super created so the username is stylesen let me try logging in to la the lava instance where with my super user username and password so i say sign and then i put the username as stylesen and the password which i provided just now i log in see this is a local on which i am logging logging in so the local uh, local account is where the super user has been created just in the previous step so i say login and then i am taken into the lava instance so now i can see my profile jobs bundle streams devices and also i have the admin tab where i can do different kinds of administration at the database level within lava so i am not going uh, to get into details of that whenever necessary we'll come back to this administration page okay so let's get on to local host so i have a super user if i see the scheduler status there is nothing so let's get started with adding some devices okay let's see where we have in say the documentation the bits regarding adding devices so let me go to the table of contents and search for devices lava administrator guide adding devices so i'm looking <coughs> to add a kvm device to lava so here is a link deploying a kvm device to lava so it says obtain an image okay so these things we'll visit later so how i add a kvm device to lava so this is stuff so add device is a command provided within your lava instance and kvm is a device type and kvm01 is the name i'm giving to my first device okay so let me copy that and i shall add my first kvm device so i am naming it as kvm01 so it could be in kvm myself 01 or whatever name you want to give so let's name it as kvm01 so this add device script will add this kvm01 as the device within the kvm device type so i just add it okay so install two objects from one fixtures now my kvm01 device is added fine so how do i check that let me go to scheduler again on the status page you see online devices so there is a kvm if you click on the kvm device type i have my kvm01 okay now it shows the device as idle and this symbol where it, uh, unsuccessful uh, stuff or the device is offline kind of stuff that is because we haven't run any health checks we'll come back to that later once we see what is a job definition and what is a test definition and stuff like that and then we'll come back so now my kvm01 device is ready and it is in idle status where i can run actual jobs fine before getting on to running jobs right so what we'll do is we need to have something called a bundle stream so let's see what is the command to create a bundle stream 
if you search for make stream within okay we don't have it it's fine so let me show you I'm not sure whether uh, okay. it should be part of lava tool documentation so lava tool is a tool which is which helps us to interact with the lava instances within command line so lava tool will get automatically installed as we have installed the full set of lava so the usage has been given here so we need to create a bundle stream <coughs> now so we'll use the make stream option in order to create it so what we'll do is we say lava tool make stream and then we'll provide on which instance so this is the dashboard URL is HTTP localhost and RPC2 is where we can communicate using XML RPC within our local instance of Lava. And then we provide a bundle stream name. So I am giving anonymous Elson. So this is my bundle stream. So it's an anonymous stream which I am trying to create. So let me luck on that okay it says bundle stream anonymous Stelson created fine that's great so let's come and see whether I have my bundle streams on the bundle streams page okay I have anonymous Stelson which is my bundle stream since I haven't run any jobs yet I will not have any bundle bundles in this stream so let's move on to the next step of running an actual job within this KVM device. Fine. <coughs> so the job tables table is empty. Okay. This is the interface with on the scheduler drop down. We have submit job. So this is the interface I'll use in order to submit my job. Before going into that, let me see show you how my job will look like. So this is my personal uh, git repository of job definitions. So I am looking for a KVM job. So KVM job is nothing but a JSON job file which we will provide. So this job will tell us what are the actions that need to be run. The first act I want this job to run is it needs to deploy a Linaro image. So it should deploy a KVM image I mean KVM image on the KVM device so that is the first action the second thing is lava test shell lava test shell is the command or action which helps us to run different test definitions so what I've passed here is I am giving a test definition repository which is nothing but a git repo whose URL is there and then I say Within that git repository, take the common slash pathfail.yaml test definition and then run it for me. So this is the second action which I have specified for Lava. And the third thing is once these two actions are completed, I am asking Lava to submit the results to the anonymous Stylesen which is stream, bundle stream which I just created. And other things are I specify a job name and device type is KVM. If I don't want to specify the device type, I can also say target exact device that is KVM01 since we only have one device in our instance as of now. So you can have multiple devices and then you can uh, specify each device with a target or a device type. So this is how a simple job definition looks like. To read what this job does is it deploys a linear image it runs the lava test shell that is a test definition obtained from this test definition repository and then submits the results to this local lava instance and if you see here the image it is an image which has been pulled from my local proxy server or the image repository which i have in my local network but in order to get different kinds of images the place you need to go is releases dot 
linaro.org within that we'll have monthly releases the latest one is 15.01 so you'll have images for different ports or different operating systems so for ubuntu we have different boards and different images for each of these boards and uh, one of this kvm images where it is available so if you go to images.validation.linaro.org you can find set images the kvm image which i am using is kvm debian bz image.gc which has been like pulled and cached in my local network one of the servers which serves this image so that is nothing but 192.168.1.250 within the images folder i have kvm debian vc dot image dot gc this is the same which you see in ima images dot validation dot org so this is the image so i am deploying this image on my kvm device and running tests let's also see how this test definition repository look like and how my test look like fine let's go to git dot linaro dot org and search for test definitions repository so there are a lot of test definition repository towards the bottom we have the interesting test definition rep repository which is the official test definition repository of linaro it is called qa/testdefinitions.git this is a repository which we are referring to if we go inside this repository and see the tree so which test we are referring to inside common we have passfail.yaml this is a test definition which we are referring to so what this test definition does so the first section is metadata it is in yaml format each and every test definition which is accept, accepted by lava is in yaml format it takes a metadata we are specifying a name for this test definition we give the format of this test definition and description and also for your test definition to get into qa such test definition repository within linaro's official repository you need to have the maintainer name and also what are the platforms to which platforms and devices to which this def test definition applies this a sample test definition and in order to keep this test definition really short we have it as an example for users to get started with within the test definition repository of linaro and in order to like put more information like the maintainer and platforms and os and devices and uh, etc things you need to consult the document which is same here for lava test shell so if you go to the documentation uh there is lava test developer guide and here we have lava test shell so it explains about different things what could be put on the test definition and it is having an exhaustive documentation about how to write your tests or the test definitions so one such thing is the test definition which we see here so we have the metadata section a second thing is the actual stuff which a test definition should run so we have the run section within that we have the steps so the first step what it does is it runs a lava test case it's a pass test the test case name is pass test and the result should be passed so lava test case is a special lava command which is used inside lava test shell so it is used for quick and simple test cases so in this steps you can also specify different shell commands which needs to be run on your device on a test or the actual target device on which you want to run your test so this is what it is so in order to keep it simple we have simple uh, pass test and a fail test which are two test cases which will be run as part of this 
test definition pass fail dot yaml so coming back to our job definition we have instructed lava to do the, this pull the test definition from this url and then run this pass fail dot yaml test from this url and then submit the results now let's see how this test actually runs so i take copy this okay before running the test since it's a kvm device i need to mention that you need to check whether loop kernel module is installed within your machine before you attempt to run any kvm or qmu device test this doesn't apply for any other actual devices but when you use some virtualized devices like kvm or qmu you need to check whether the loop kernel module has already been loaded so let's check that so inside etc modules we have modules load.d and there is a lava modules.com these are all put automatically by the packages so if you get inside that you need to check for this so loop module should be enabled so after enabling that I say more probe loop so I just loaded this module within the kernel so this is a common error which appears when you're trying to use KVM devices with so we have resolved that hopefully a job should run so let's see a job so this is the job I'm going to run the same as what we are looking at So I'm just copying this job file and then this my lava instance as I said go to schedule a link and then submit job you'll get this dialog and I just paste this job so if there is no problems with this job it says a valid JSON for example if you forget a braces over there so when you click validate it says something is wrong on line 33 so what I need to do is I need to add this extra braces okay so I validate and it's a valid JSON and then I say submit job job with ID 1 has been created so let me look at what is there in this job hope everything should be fine okay so now my job starts running so you can see the live <coughs> log of the uh, I mean job that is being run on the KVM device so it shows the KVM 01 we specify the device type as KVM so lava looked for the available KVM device so it was KVM 01 and then it started it accepted the job on KVM 01 and it started running so this is a summary if you want to see each and every step you can look for the complete log and then at the end of log file so it's downloading and then it's checking whether the downloaded image is correct and then it loop modes and starts deploying the image which it has downloaded so that's the first action which is specified right okay so once this job is done let's come back okay this job which you're trying to run actually failed for some reason let's see what uh, it was trying to mount the image on some specific offset and stuff like that but it couldn't do that so let's see what happened on a KVM device we also need or we forgot to mention what is the root partition number so as soon as you add the device you need to get onto etc lava dispatcher devices and we have kvm01.conf this is added by add device.py 
script with which we used in order to add a KVM device that is KVM01. So go to that conf and add this line root underscore partition equal to one. Okay, now this is a partition number within the KVM image which we are using in order to deploy in the KVM device from a job file. So it differs for the different kinds of images we use and the SD cards in which the partition layout is different for devices, it differs. So you need to have some basic knowledge about how these images are organized and where these images should actually be deployed or what is the root partition of the images, I mean uh, the devices which has already been partitioned on the SD card or something like that. So this involves some knowledge about knowing how the devices and their partitions work and also the images how their partitions are organized. So this is for the KVM device. So now we fix the root partition and then so I'll to resubmit the same job. The same job which has deploy lunar image, lava test shell, submit results. So this is my second attempt. So I say submit. So job with the ID2 has been created. So the requested device type is KVM. And let's refresh and check whether the job is getting run on KVM01. Okay. We have only one device that is KVM01. So the job started and we have the summary of logs is downloading so if you see the complete log this is what it's been doing okay let's come back and check what happens here so this job I think should work so it's still downloading the image basically uh, I have um, a 100 Mbps network, I mean the local network strength, it's not a gigabit, gigabit network. So pulling it from my local network from that server 192.168.1.250 is taking some time. And there is a lot of congestion in my network because I have uh, different uh, like Wi-Fi hops or repeaters in between before I pull this image from a local machine which is placed in the other room okay uh, test started running so basically like the KVM device is getting uh, booted with the image which has applied and you can see those logs over there and we have yep pass failed test and the test case result a pass test was passed failed test was passed and then submitting results with parameters so the results has been submitted as instructed inside the job file and if you see if you click on the summary button or you go up you will see or refresh the page you'll see the results bundle I mean button so once the results bundle button appears just click on the results bundle and then this is the bundle for the job which just ran that is job ID 2 so it was run on the KVM device and this is a default test run which is a sanity check or the default uh, test which will be run for each and every job by lava and this is what we are interested in this is our test pass fail test and we have the results for the pass fail test our test name is pass fail and there were two test cases in this test and both of them passed and this result was uploaded and analyzed at this point of time so if you get closer inside this you can see the actual test cases one is a pass test and the failed test these are two test cases and the result is pass and how did it actually run this is the standard out.log which shows you the actual run and then this is the test definition yaml which we passed and I mean it misses formatting it is it doesn't look just like how we passed it but of course it's 
uh, understood by the machine and it's a proper YAML file and the written code was zero so there was no interruptions within the test and we have the run.sh these are the exact steps which was run on the device in order to run a two test cases pass test and fail test so this is how we run a simple test within lava with a kvm device on your local instance and this is pretty much good enough for any people to start with a default device which is a kvm device where you need not have like expensive hardware or external devices mended with usbs and stuff like that so kvm is an x86 uh, device or we also have uh, support for uh, kvm devices so you can make use of these devices in order to get and put your tests and see whether they are working fine or not this is how we get started with lava and this example i hope it helps people in order to install their lava instance on their own machines and add a different device the like kvm and then start with it is thank you for watching bye